before we talk about other concepts related to angular modules in this lecture what we are going to do is we are going to add some more routes in our routing module so let's go to vs code and here if i open our routing module this route module.ts there you will see we have defined some routes now here i want to add some more routes basically i want to add some child routes for this dashboard route and to do that what we are going to do is we are going to add some more components inside this dashboard folder so let me go ahead and let me open vs code built-in terminal okay and here let's first move to this dashboard folder for that let's use the cd command and from the source folder we want to go to app folder and from there we want to go to dashboard folder in the dashboard folder we want to create a new component for that we can write this ng generate command we want to generate a component and let's call this component overview now when we are going to run this command now in our project we have multiple module files so angular will not know in which module file we need to declare this overview component so now since we have multiple module files we also need to specify in which module file this overview component should be declared for that we can use hyphen hyphen module and then the name of the module file where we want to declare this overview component and i want to declare this component in the dashboard module let's press enter so now you can see inside the dashboard folder a new folder called overview has been created and if you go to dashboard module.ts there you will see that overview component has been declared here all right now the next thing which I'm going to do is for now I will close this router module.ts and also this dashboard module.ts and I'm going to open the HTML file of overview module and I'm also going to open the HTML file of dashboard component from here I'll cut all the HTML and I'll paste it inside the HTML of overview component okay now I'll open the CSS file of dashboard component from there I'll copy all the CSS or maybe I'll cut all the CSS from here and let's paste it inside the CSS file of overview component and let's save it let's close this CSS file let's also close these files and now let me open dashboard component.ts and from here from within this dashboard component class I am going to cut all these code which we have written okay let me cut it from here and let's paste it inside the ts file of overview component all right now let's also go ahead and let's copy these imports and let's paste it in the overview component Okay, and here we also need to change the path because now from the current folder we need to move one folder up to the dashboard folder and from the dashboard folder we again we need to move one folder up then we will have this model folder same thing we need to do here as well okay let's save this file let's go to dashboard component.ts now since we are not implementing ng on in it we can remove this implement statement from here let's remove all these imports we don't need it let's remove this as well okay let's save this file and now what we are going to do is let me close this overview component.ts as well okay and dashboard component.ts as well so the next thing we are going to do is in the router module here I am going to remove this component so now whenever the path is dashboard we don't want to render the dashboard component so I'll remove it from here and here I'm going to add children array okay and in this array we can specify the child routes so again I'm going to specify a path for that child route and let's say the path is going to be overview and which component do we want to render when this path is typed 
we want to render overview component okay so now the route path will be slash dashboard slash overview let's save the changes here let's go to login component so let's go to login component dot ts there we are redirecting the user to the dashboard page right somewhere we have written that logic to redirect the user to the dashboard page when the user logs in yeah at this line so now instead of redirecting the user to the dashboard route this dashboard path we need to redirect the user to dashboard slash overview let's save the changes again let's open dashboard component dot html and here now we are going to use router outlet so what we want is whenever the user types dashboard slash overview in the address bar at this place we want to render the overview component with this let's save the changes and let's quickly verify if the application is working or not let's go to the browser and here you will notice that it says router outlet is not a known element why because again this component this uh, overview component we have declared it in the dashboard module and in the dashboard module so let's open this dashboard module.ts we are not importing the router module so in order to use that router outlet we also need to import router module okay let's save the changes now let's go to our application and now that error is gone now let's go ahead and let's log in so here i'll say johnsmith at gmail.com and let's specify the password let's log in and our application is working as expected now let's go back to vs code and now i'm going to add one more component so again let's run the same command ng generate component this time i'm going to call this component as stats and again we want to declare the stats component in the dashboard module so let's go ahead and let's press enter and now you will notice that a stats component has also been created and it should be declared in the dashboard module so as you can see here it is declared all right let me close this dashboard component.html for now login component.ts also i'll close router module let's keep it here now in the router module i'm going to add one more route so one more child route for the dashboard here let's say the path is going to be stats and when this path is typed we want to render stats component now let's go to stats component so in the dashboard we have the stats component let's open the html file of the stats component and in order to save some time i have already written some html and css with some typescript code so i'll copy this html from here i'll paste it inside this stats component.html now currently we do not have these properties but we are going to create it let's save this file let's open stat components.css again i'll go to the notepad let's scroll down and copy this css let's go back to vs code and let's paste it here let's save this file and let's also open stat component.ts let's again go back to notepad and i will copy this code this typescript code and i'll paste it inside this stat component class all right now in order to use this task service and this task class we also need to add some imports so that import also i have already created here i'll copy it let's go back and here let's replace this import with the import which we have copied and now i can see we have one more error so it says this dot tasks so this tasks does not exist here let's create tasks property it is going to be an array of task and initially let's set it to 
empty array. Okay, let's save the changes and let's go back to our application. So currently we are in dashboard slash overview. If I type dashboard slash stats, this is how the stats will look like. So basically we are displaying the count of number of open tasks, started task, in progress task and so on. And finally, what we are going to do is here in place of this dashboard link, I want to display a drop down link. For that, again, let me go back to the notepad. And here I have written some HTML and CSS to create that drop down link. So I'll copy this HTML. Let's go to VS Code. Let me close this stat component.ts and stat component.html. We don't need it for now. Let's go to header component. There we are defining our navigation links. And here you can see we have that dashboard link. So after this, or maybe I will simply remove it from here. Okay, and I'll give a line break to keep things readable and I'll paste whatever HTML I have copied. Okay, so this dashboard, it is going to be a drop down link. There we are going to have this overview stat and this link i have not created maybe we can create one more component and add that page here but for now let's keep it like this okay and here the link will be dashboard slash stats all right now let's go back to notepad and let's also copy this css to design that drop down and let's go to header component.css and let's paste that CSS there. Let's save the changes. Let's go to our application. And now you see this drop down, this dashboard is a drop down link. When I click on overview, it will take us to the overview page. When I click on this stats, it will take us to the stats page. This mode link page is not going to work because we don't have that page. Okay, you can either remove it or for now, I will simply remove it. But if you want to add more component inside your dashboard component, you can add it like this. For now, I'll simply comment it. Okay, so here we have this overview link, which will take us to overview page. We have this stats route, which will take us to stats page. And we have defined these routes in our router module. So in the router module.ts, we are defining these routes. Okay, and where are we importing this route? We are importing the routes which we have defined inside this router module.ts in our app module here. So now what we are going to do is these links which you see here, these links are related to dashboard. So what we want is we want to create a separate route for the dashboard module and we are going to import that route in the dashboard module. Let's see how we can do that in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.